So a little update here on our dyno. As you know, we had a two-wheel driver dyno, which is this, and now we're expanding it to have the four-wheel drive section of it. Well, in order for all this to work, there's a number of changes that have to be done. And, uh, you know, the, this is usually done at the factory at Mustang, but uh, we, we got the, the second half later, so then we're doing them ourselves. So first of all, this is the eddy current brake, okay? So this applies the load um, to, to the dyno. And we need to run a belt, you can see that's one cog, uh, onto there. So that will basically link us up to the four-wheel drive bed. Now, in order to get this done, we need to install a shaft that wasn't there. And that is the shaft. Now, there's a few things that you need to consider when you're doing uh, something like this. First of all, you need to press in this gear. And then the gear has to press in on the existing shaft that you see right here. And in doing so, you need to really hammer it on. And it's not too easy since this is in a frame. So you have only a little bit of leeway using a sledgehammer and the best thing we found after trying multiple kind of aluminum pieces is our old uh, b8 uh, s4 supercharger pulley this is the oem one that we replaced so this can go on here nicely and then push that on now it's it is a precision job so we cleaned up uh the the paint from where the shaft uh secondary shaft will mount and we had to press in the this uh, gear as well on here. And then finally, there's a coupling and decoupling mechanism. So this coupler is what's going to make this car, or this dyno rather, switch between two wheel drive and four wheel drive by engaging the secondary shaft that then goes to that bed over there. And in order to do that, you have to have some really tight tolerancing because uh, there's teeth on here and then there's teeth on here and teeth on here. So we have to shim where this shaft will go. So that's exactly level with this and also has to have one eighth of an inch gap between the two and it has to maintain that. And of course there's some there's some seals and stuff in here that's gonna, it's gonna go on it once it all comes together. And then finally, there is this uh, contraption, just a, a pneumatic system that basically what it does is that it'll, it's got bearings on here that you can see and then it will move this collar it'll move this collar back and forth to engage and disengage the four-wheel drive section of this uh, so quite neat to see it all all like this uh, apart quite neat to put it together and uh, soon we will be able to offer the full four-wheel drive experience um, with this so we'll keep you guys posted as we assemble all of this together we also obviously need to to put some bracing between here and here so that the length is correct it keeps the belt tight the belt if you're ever wondering what it looks like is like this and these are the rods that will set them to the correct length so that they'll be between the two units so fun times ahead and we should have this guy rolling soon hopefully sooner rather than later